Hello everyone and now welcome to a game Johnny Cage versus Lin Gua Gua this game taking place here on Echo Isle version 2.2 Here we have Lin Gua Gua spawning as the orange orc on the top left hand side of the map in opening things up with an altar of storms orc burrow Meanwhile across the only other spawning location here on Echo Isle 2.2 sorry it's just my camera um, well, Johnny Cage um, as the purple human uh, should be interesting, th um, Johnny Cage opening up with the classic Altar of Kings, Barracks, and a farm. Meanwhile, we see a similar build coming across from Lin Gua Gua. Now, Echo Isle 2.2 does have a lot more going for it than in the years past, or just, um, not in years past, just has a lot more going for it, period. A lot of fun things can happen now. Now that there is this additional gold mine off to the north, you're not going to get into these weird, weird games where, um, where you're just trying to out-starve your opponent and there's no aggression on any side of the map. We are looking at a war mill, most likely Farseer coming out. Meanwhile, no, Paladin first. All right, so Johnny Cage throwing us a curveball here with a Paladin first. Um, I don't see a Barracks, so it's not going to be that, well, unkillable Paladin Rifleman army that we've seen in, um, in your typical Paladin first. Interesting, we'll keep an eye out on that. Perhaps um, getting a Blood Mage second as a mana battery strategy, but... Really, my my brain is trying to see how Johnny Cage is going to get to the mid game and late game, and what his unit composition will be. Arcane Tower needs to be upgraded, as of course. Come on, wait. You have you have the gold? No, you're training up peasants, waiting for the gold now. No, no, no. All right. Apparently not training up just quite yet. I would have thought that that upgrade to upgrade to Arcane Tower would have been very crucial as Farseer harass is always a big deal. All right, gonna go ahead and try to engage against the Ogre Warrior. Ensnare does go down on one wolf, so one wolf is outside of range. No upgrade there. Meanwhile, down to the south here, Militia trying to go after some other units. There's a Holy Light for a save, and now trying to finish off this Renegade Wizard here. Paladin will get to level two. I'm curious if he's gonna be going for Devotion Aura or Divine Shield. Both are incredibly helpful at trying to keep, and well, uh, that Paladin or your other units alive. All right, Paladin opt to go for Devotion Aura. Does make sense. We are still looking at Defend now being researched as well. And this has got to be a very specific build um, on perhaps this particular map against orc um, if he's expecting to see headhunters all right we are looking at uh, most likely headhunters being trained out now there is that lone grunt early on that is used for a lot of creeping and well with footman and defend being able to reflect back damage the paladin um, with holy light coupled with the forest troll shadow priest's heal should be able to mitigate most if not all of the damage from grunts the spirit wolves and uh, well that farseer all right, still creeping, getting underway here. Wow, um, Lin Gua Gua going after a difficult creep camp here. This center orange creep camp. Ogre Magi was doing this little bit weird dance for a long time. As the Ogre Warrior here doesn't seem to understand that he's supposed to be trying to attack other units. Um, once more, the players, be knowing the AI of Warcraft 3 creeps so well, they can clear out a relatively difficult creep camp without taking much damage. That Ogre Warrior is just still dancing around here. I, I'm not quite sure what to make of this. As we see, well, Scroll of the Beast picked up there. All right, Forest Troll Trapper, both sides are looking to engage. Meanwhile, Militia now being called over by Johnny Cage, who is looking to get to level 3. No upgrade to Arcane Tower there. Um, I guess uh, harassment is not inbound or, well, Johnny Cage hopes to deal with it another way. There is level two now, or level two Holy Light now, um, 400 hit point heals, plenty of militia, perhaps even a scout farm to be built off to the side here. All right, Forest Troll, Shadow Priest, Farsi, you're gonna get spotted out. Here's the uh, town hall, and the town hall may force to be get canceled. In come some repairs. Are they gonna be able to speed build it to keep it going? That is the question as the, well, the, it does get end up getting taken down. Was the gold refunded? I believe so. Johnny Cage not realizing where the Farseer was on the map. No upgrade there on that tower as we are looking at perhaps an abolished magic shadow priest. Well, yep. No, was that a resummon? That, that could be. A, could have been a resummon. Yep, a resummon inside the base. And well, 
This scout tower has been here for a long time and not doing anything. Paladin comes across here, 400 hit point heal. Uh, we're going to see another peasant getting taken out. No, excuse me, that was a wolf getting cleaned up by the militia. The Farseer now looking to back up again. Meanwhile, we are looking at headhunters here, able to do quite a bit of poking damage, as we may see a grunt getting taken out there. No, grunt going to survive at 62 hit points. Farseer once more trying to retest the waters. Paladin is at level 3. We are looking at... a. Uh, a build here and there's that arcane tower now johnny cage is going to be at tier or stay at tier one for quite a while meanwhile lin guagua already training up his torn chieftain which will soon be out on the battlefield tech advantage with more heroes from lin guagua lin guagua uh, while playing close to home needs to get um well get more going and get more going here out of this gold mine to ensure that that economic advantage pays for itself. Arcane Tower is up and operational, able to push back those dire wolves. No big problem there as the peasants once more try to retreat or militia try to retreat back again. Now, what is this follow-up play? Lin Gua Gua should, um, should just try to play his normal standard game here. Torin Chieftain perhaps acting as a bit of a tank. There are some healing salves, spirit wolves off to the north. There is not a there's no red creep camps on this map. So, um, well, I believe Ling Gua Gua is going to have a large window of opportunity to try and get more experience on this Torin Chieftain. By getting more experience on the Torin Chieftain, well, hero level advantage does make a drastic difference, as we've seen in time and time before. Torin Chieftain opting to go most likely for, yeah, Shockwave. So Chain Wave, Chain Lightning and Shockwave is a major possibility. If the if we can get to level 2 Chain Lightning and level 2 Shockwave, you better believe those footmen are just going to fall like flies. Especially since the Tech to Tier 2 is only halfway done and we are now going into Barracks. Or Dual Barracks. Johnny Cage most likely going to try and go for a quick tech to tier 3. Are we going to see a shockwave rip through? Yes, trying to find ways to hit um, those peasants as they're working. One barracks going to get shot shut down here. Are we going to see another shockwave? Nope. Shockwave trying to back up here. Raiders are now trying to push the front door. And here we are. Here we go. Militia going to take a little bit of damage here. Torrent Chieftain going to try and test the waters. Shoot another shockwave in. Or perhaps get a chain lightning across all of these units. There's a shockwave. The peasants, are they getting taken out? No, they have not fallen. Chain Lightning could be a great bounce around here as we see a couple of ensnares go down as well. Trying to ensure quick death on some of those units again. Torin Chieftain still fighting their way through. Slow being cast by that Mud Golem as a low hit point raider trying to get away. Unable to do exactly that. Force Troll Shadow Priest with the range attack. All right, there's that Chain Lightning finding a Force Troll Shadow Priest. Are we going to see some more targets getting taken out? Footmen, well, low on hit points, but a big holy light at the last moment. They're keeping it alive, and now Johnny Cage's Force Troll Berserker gets a holy light as well, trying to stay alive in these battles. All right, 21 supply army compared to 19 reinforcements coming in from Johnny Cage much faster. Level 4 Paladin going up against a level 2 Torrent Chieftain and level 3 Farseer as we see another Shockwave rip on through. Another big Holy Light right there as the Torrent Chieftain now finally out of mana. Is he going to get to level 3? No, he is not. He is backing away. There is that other Holy Light right there as the Paladin with that 400 hit point heal has just been racking up so much damage. All right, Force Troll Berserker here. Is he going to get another Holy Light off? Most likely. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes. Trying to maximize those hit points. Wait until that Force Troll Berserker was below four 50 hit points, but finally gets taken out due to consecutive critical strikes from the well from those wolves An additional units going to get summoned up here and this is a problem for the paladin paladin has to deal with these critical striking wolves that are dealing damage to these riflemen remember riflemen already take a bonus damage from um from normal attacks so when it says 32 it's actually dealing upwards of 50 damage per attack as the blood mage is now out here on the battlefield all right low hit point rifleman down to nope not down gonna get a big heal right there as another low hit point footman gets cleaned up again torn chieftain gonna be just shy of level three as well getting shot in the back torn chieftain down to 33 down to dead Blood Mage and Rifleman range attack enough there as we see Siphon Mana into the Paladin. All right, Mana Battery strategy for that Paladin. He, now he's going to be able to heal even more. 
as the Blood Mage is trying to go after the Raider. Are we going to see another Holy Light? We do. More Raiders coming over to try and reinforce. And now, what is going to go down here? But another Holy Light again, most likely onto that Rifleman if he gets low. And he is now low. Waiting for the Holy Light. There you go. As the Raiders now look to retreat back. Johnny Cage able to hold on with um, hold on to the situation with massive numbers of heals. We are looking at a potential expo off to the north here as the Farseer has to break the chain and not give more mana um, to the Blood Mage and in turn that Paladin. All right, heals are going to be necessary as well. The Raiders cannot heal by themselves back at home. Someone needs to go to the shop, um, buy, pick up some healing salves, and, well, I, apparently it's heroes only allowed in that shop. Um, well, I, I guess classism at its best, but look at Lin Gua Gua's army. Lin Gua Gua saving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units, and now healing salving all of them back up. Going to go get a clarity potion on the Torrin Chieftain as well, and now make a move. All right. This base could have a well is having some bad days. Peons trying to retreat back. Farseer siphon mana. Farseer needed to do, do some chain lightning or something else. Raiders are not even back up to full yet. Don't want to really engage as we are still only at stronghold. No chance to get into a uh, fortress for um, berserkers. Siphon mana right there, uh, lo losing quite a bit of mana. Paladin already up to level five. Are we going to see some holy light heals? Yes, onto that blood mage. Blood mage, uh, well. Uh, did not get healed 600 points because it's level three devotion aura, not level three, um, not level three holy light. Paladin continuing to fight, or the blood mage continuing to fight back there. Are we going to see another holy light? There goes another ensnare. The ensnare scythe was right um, before the siphon mana, so the siphon mana into the paladin. Paladin's now topped off on mana again. Going to be able to get in some more heals. Heals. Paladin continuing to fight now. Level three torrent chieftain. Level three torrent chieftain means. Better shockwave, but the Blood Mage has been making sure that he's never really within shockwave range on mana. Both sides fighting their way through 50 supply compared to 49. 49, and this is an absolute pummeling by both sides. Both sides trying to dish out damage while dealing, uh, while absorbing a lot of damage. Paladin's army with the beneficial plus six armor, essentially having one three upgrades um, for those riflemen. Add in another, well, add in even more armor, and the, yeah, those riflemen may not get taken down ever. No, there is a blacksmith, but I don't see, uh, well, no, they're going for level two weapon upgrades instead. Coming back across, Raiders, 50 over 62 supply. There is no Orc Burrow here. Paladin going to show up and say, surprise, target practice along all of these moving peons. Meanwhile, quick and snare on a traversing rifleman. And are we just going to go into a base trade scenario? The Raiders are going to come in and engage. Um, do we have pillage? I can't quite tell. No, I can't quite tell if we have pillage or not. Um, as gold is no, well, we do have pillage. So yeah, a lot of gold getting um, collected here. Shockwave could rip on through. Yeah, there goes some peons. Town hall is down, and now, well, we are looking at. Um, well, both sides losing their Expos, but Johnny Cage definitely had more to lose at his Expos, losing some guard towers. He had good defense, but wasn't able to hold it back. Johnny Cage building up some more outer walls with farms here to protect against the Raiders just in case there is going to be a base snipe. All right, Torrent Chieftain doesn't have mana. Farce, you're going to go ahead and scroll Town Portal back. Johnny Cage was in position, and, well, it is just going to be a transferring of units. Are we going to see an ensnare on that Rifleman? The Rifleman showed up to the party and said, I'm ready to fight, only to see everyone disappear before his eyes and the enemy appear. All right, talk about positioning in battle. A level 4, level 3 Farseer, or level 4, level 3 Farseer, Torrent Chieftain combination going up. Oh, Banish right there, banishing the Rifleman. And are we going to see a Chain Lightning perhaps on, yeah, on that guy just in order to get that finishing blow? Could have hit the Blood Mage first. I'm sure a bounce onto an Ethereal Rifleman um, would have been enough since that Rifleman was already so low but didn't want to take chances. We do have reinforced defenses. Blood Mage inside here. Oh, he also has a mechanical critter in his back pocket. 
or I guess backpack. What does that really mean? Um, we'll have to take a look. Meanwhile, oh, Paladin may be forced to use a scroll of town portal. We're looking at a bunch of. Oh, how did it get? How did it escape? Get free? There it is. Another ensnare there. Scroll of town portal to try and retreat back. And um, just trying to get into position. There's a shockwave. There's a chain lightning and Johnny Cage hitting the trigger immediately to get out of dodge. 15 minutes into this game. Ekin, um, well, Johnny Cage still does not have an expo. Lin Gua Gua trying to rebuild. Paladin sitting at level 5. He needs to get healed up a little bit more. Perhaps a scroll of regeneration there. I'm going to go ahead and quickly use that. Meanwhile, some wolves going to try to dive into this position. But that's just simply too many guard towers. Oh, if this game goes long, I believe the Farseer's Earthquake could come into play. We got to keep track. Make sure Johnny Cage doesn't lose riflemen, doesn't lose units needlessly. As well, Lin Gua Gua playing an annoying orc right now, just trying to pillage trade buildings. Um, and trade buildings for gold and then retreat back. More peasants going to get taken down. Farseer still sitting at level 4. Guard towers are going to fall. And with that, a little bit more experience given and more gold traded again. Farseer does have a ticket back home. And we're going to see, well, this blacksmith get taken down. So no more riflemen to be trained. That's going to be a key building that needs to be rebuilt. As we're now looking back at the base here, Blood Mage has banished and siphoned mana. Paladin going to be coming across. They're trying to shoot an orc burrow. And in comes the, well, Scroll of Town Portal. Where are the units going to be going? There you are. There's going to be engagement. There's a shockwave. And are we going to see a chain lightning bounce around? Yes, we do. There's a chain lightning as well. Low hit point raider. And while trying to retreat to the back, throws in and snare. What low hit point rifleman? Both sides fighting as we see some more siphon mana again. Torrent Chieftain doesn't have enough mana. Rifleman getting cleaned up. Blood Mage now at level 3 is going to be able to easily siphon mana away from the Torrent Chieftain. And now deny mana there. All right, Blood Mage going to go ahead and perhaps give some mana back to the Paladin as the Paladin is starting to run low. As Blood Mage sitting at 9 armor. There's some more shockwaves ripping on through. A potion of mana being used there only to see it be given to the Rifleman at the last moment. Rifleman still trying to shoot their way through here. 2-1 upgrades with an additional plus 6 armor on these Rifleman. So much damage mitigation. All right, Torrent Chieftain unable to do very much here as the Rifleman, well, um, are just constantly reinforced by that Paladin. Paladin truly leading this army by keeping this army alive and together. Farseer sitting at level 4, Torrent Chieftain sitting at level 3. Lin Gua Gua going to be forced to retreat back. It is... It is the Paladin rifle combination. It just took a weird route to get there, going for the Expo and going for a strong economy before really diving into that spot. Now, remember, um, there is... Nope, there's the blacksmith that has to be rebuilt. I was going to say, if Johnny Cage didn't realize and he was just mindlessly using his control keys to try and retrain lost riflemen, he quickly realized, wait a second, my army is not being replenished. Lin Gua Gua is in some serious trouble even with this, um, well, even with the economic advantage right now as the main gold mines still have about five minutes, four and a half minutes of mining left. All right, Orc Burrows. In comes some repairs. Are they going to jump inside? There's that siphon mana. There's a, a ensnare. And just constantly trying to ensnare that blood mage to reduce what, um, well, reduce all of those siphon manas more. Uh, well, Spirit Wolves getting summoned up. Chain Lightning should be added in. We're going to see some Holy Light. There's a Chain Lightning going across. Level 6 now on the Paladin. Is the Paladin going to go for Resurrection or Level 3 Holy Light? He does have enough for Resurrection. Uh, is there any corpses out here on the battlefield? I don't really see. No, he might actually see some. There goes one. There goes two. Um, are we going to see some more get taken down here? That is the question. As uh, There goes another. Paladin is pr pretty much just saying... I'm waiting for this to happen so I can resurrect a whole bunch of units. There's Siphon Mana again as the Paladin, well, could easily kill his own units and then get the resurrection and get them back up all on the battlefield. Back up to 48 supply ready to engage as the Blood Mage now comes across and gets a nice healing touch as well. All right, Blood Mage needs to give mana to the Paladin. Paladin currently low. Shadow Striking Wolves finding a couple of Riflemen as the Torrent Chieftain now out of mana again. Paladin. Level 4 on the Blood Mage. Both sides fighting through. Level 6, level 4 compared to a 5 and 3 as the Paladin, well, has quite a cooldown on that Resurrection. 
all those riflemen's lives definitely flashed before their eyes. Maybe had even saw, even seen the great light in the sky, only to come back and, well, stare down their targets, um, well, once more. All right, low hit point. Rifleman once more getting healed. Big damage. There's a shockwave ripping on through their siphon. Man, now we're going to be looking at that. Rifleman, he's trying to back away and able to get healed again. All right, incredible value off of on that Paladin's resurrection there. Even purposely shoot or denying his own rifleman so that they would get resurrected. Beautifully played, beautifully done. But in the same breath, though, the the units that Lin Gua Gua uh, had taken out did give that Farseer a little bit more experience. We're looking at level 5, level 3 right now as the gold mines are starting to run low. There goes a shockwave trying to find another target here. There is a voodoo lounge. Farseer may try to pick up um, well, pick up a potion of mana. No ensnare on the blood mage there as the units are just trying to retreat to the very far back. Torin Chieftain has really nowhere to go. Farseer, there's level 4 now. Farseer may pick up a potion of mana and then wait to use it to be able to take out a rifleman. There it goes. Going to try and engage with some shadow wolves again. Paladin still has a scroll of town portal. Can easily back away here. There's that siphon mana. So annoying as Lin Guagua's Torrent Chieftain is just constantly shut out of any play other than just being a giant tank in, in, in the front line. All right, Farseer trying to go after that Paladin. Paladin down to 280 hit points. Trying to go after some low hit point units. Are we going to see a Chain Lightning? No, we are not. Farseer just backs away. And with that, more Riflemen are alive. All right, we can see Johnny Cage speed building that Expo down on that bottom right-hand side. Riflemen tr shooting the broad side of the Stronghold, waiting for it to crumble. That will take quite a bit of time. As we're looking at the Shadow Wolves coming across here again. All right, trying to rack up some damage. Are we going to see a Chain Lightning? There's a Shockwave. And, well, the Holy Lights are going to be coming across. We need to see another Chain Lightning there for it to really rack up damage. As the Farseer, well, unable to get close to those two, two upgraded units. And now seeing them get healed back up again. It feels like Lin Guagua is just always on the cusp of needing the deal five or 25 to 50 points more damage and has not been able to do exactly that clarity potion there paladin getting a little bit more mana back resummoning up the wolves we're going to see that paladin get a holy light on that rifleman most likely uh, the oh the rifleman purposely um perhaps body blocking to prevent the paladin and now there's a siphon mana right there blood mage gets a little bit more mana meanwhile the paladin down to 197 hit points takes a little bit of damage siphon mana Torrent Chieftain was pretty much already dry as we're looking at the Paladin oh, nearly down. Torrent Chieftain gets up to level 4. Siphon mana onto the Farseer. Farseer trying to get those auto attacks. The Paladin's just hiding in the back of this tightly knit base as the range of the Rifleman has really come into play. Uh, trying to get to that Paladin now down to 138, 32 hit points. Finally forcing the Scroll of Town Portal. Is the Farseer going to get taken down? Down to 19 hit points, and he ends up surviving barely. 26 supply compared to 51. Ling Gua, Gua definitely in the driver's seat of this game. And now, Paladin needs to find a way to heal himself up. So many guard towers, masonry upgrades here. No arcane vault. And you, you can almost tell by the positioning of all of these riflemen what they are doing. They are just making sure that s wolves cannot run inside this g gate and give a tap on to the paladin. All right, is, is, there, a, is there a critter somewhere? I, that, I almost want to check. Does, is there a critter? Nope. No, uh, well, is that a, oh, yep. Mechanical critter is right there. All right, so if you, um, that, yeah, right. Yep, that is... All right. I need to keep track of that right there. I don't know why it doesn't show up as purple. All right. All right, Raiders. Going to go ahead and dive on in onto the Expo again. Raiders having plenty of, uh, well, um, decent hit points, able to absorb quite a bit of damage. And also, they are pillaging. So Johnny Cage going to lose his Expo. And now, off to the north, we're going to see Lin Gua Gua lose his Expo too. All right, it may turn into a what you see is what you get scenario. And Farseer currently finishing off that last 
farm there. 31 supply com compared to 52 riflemen um, while well, shooting that orc burrow trying to shut it down. We see uh, this rifleman actually getting caught out in open field, but not that big of a problem. Farseer and Torrent Chieftain need to bring more um, mana potions or healing salves, perhaps, to, to heal up these remaining units. All right. New Raider joining in on the fight. Level 7 Paladin. Level 5 Blood Mage. Going up against a level 5 Farseer. Level 4 Torrent Chieftain. But the Blood Mage with level 3 Drain Mana has been doing exactly what it needs to do. Draining out um, all of the precious, precious things. There's a Chain Lightning trying to take out all of those peasants there. And now backing away once more. Alright, this Torrent Chieftain, if he's able to get a little bit more mana, could throw down another Shockwave and, and really rack up some damage against all of these buildings again. Meanwhile, in the base here, Lin Gua Gua trying to go after a couple of these peons. There's no Orc Burrows here at all. All of these peons are just trying to run for their lives as a couple low hit point raiders are guarding the door. Are we looking at a base race scenario that is a lot of guard towers to try and take down? Are we gonna see um, these getting taken out there, waiting for the shockwave? There's a shockwave and well, rips through many of the buildings again. One raider, however, lost though, and Lin Gua Gua cannot allow that to happen. New Voodoo Lounge being built in the center. Peons perhaps expecting that they could build an expo here, unable to do that as the main hall is now gone. All right. Great hall being built on the southern side here. Torrent Chieftain going after the guard towers. The spirit wolves or the shadow wolves are now going after those peons. The Torrent Chieftain, well, um, absorbing a lot of that damage. The guard tower is not able to do that much um, because it is just piercing as the peons are still trying to, uh, well, repair all of these guard towers and keep it up. Farseer, not where, nowhere near level 6, and that is the difference. If we, oh, is the Farseer going to get caught inside here? Yes, the Farseer is going to get caught inside here, trying to break free and able to finally slip on out. Meanwhile, the Rifleman, a Paladin, are finishing off buildings everywhere they can. Voodoo Lounge is done. Uh, Farseer has a scroll of speed. Healing Sabs trying to heal up all of these units here. Peons should make their way back over to that side of the map to try and get a little bit of gold. Lingua Gua should really be moving these peons down here already as the Farseer, Torrent Chieftain, Raider are now making their rounds out. No more gold. Scroll of Speed was sold. Oh, oh there are a couple of creeps here. All right, so the green creep camps here on Echo Isle finally being crept out at the 28 minute mark of this game. Every bit of gold matters as the Torrent Chieftain now back up to 150 mana, perhaps two shockwaves to get things started off against all of these buildings. All right. Where do we go next? Here we are, Farseer, ready once more. Going to get some damage. There is that lumber mill being placed down. There goes a shockwave. And, well, one guard tower um, already exposed. Torrent Chieftain purposely keeping his distance. Rifleman, Paladin, Blood Mage, um, Army making its way, trying to find perhaps the last of the buildings anywhere on the map. Torrent Chieftain does have a little bit more mana. There goes another round of Shockwave. As we can see, the Arcane Towers are causing problems. Farseer is not going to get enough hip um, experience to get Earthquake, though, even though all of these buildings are just so tightly grouped together. Johnny Cage finding the last Expo. Expo, even if it is completed, um, doesn't stand a chance. The army of Johnny Cage just far too large as it's going to be able to deal with whatever Lin Gua Gua tries to throw at it. There is the game. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.